Oh, I really don't want to do a 1v1 at 50% health. I just don't. Okay, is there anything I can do at all to get my health back up? Please. Please, game, please. Uh, nope. Insufficient gold. Alright, well, crap. It would appear that we have no choice. We are going to have to fight a 1v1 and just hope like hell we don't get killed. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby. This is Magnum P.I. And today we are back in We Who Are About to Die. Now, before we get going on this episode, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who commented on the last one about my idiocy. I mean, not the fact that I am an idiot, because we already knew that, but about how I was being an idiot. You see, it turns out that I was screwing up the training. Now, for the training, we have to have, apparently, X amount of things to be able to train. In fact, I don't want to do two-handed mace. I want to actually train in stamina. And we're going to leave this one, I think, blank. It should make it nice and cheap. Okay, yeah, see, now this is blue, I can actually do the thing. Yeah, we had to own training gear. So I don't know where it says exactly how much training gear I needed. Oh, oh they're right there. This week's training will require four training gear. Okay. I will gain 1.5 stamina and 200% stamina skill learning rate, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, can I crank this up without raising the amount of gear I need to do it? Oh, no. Apparently, once you get up there, you have to do it. But, I'm thinking this might actually be the way to go. And that'll get us 4.1 stamina, 260% stamina thing. We've already got the four gear. In fact, you know what? Uh, do I want to... No, I'm not going to purchase an extra one, because I think I'm going to need medical attention here, too. So, yeah, let's do that. Now, how do I actually make it train? Okay, maybe it does it on its own. I mean, we'll find out when we come back. If the uh, training supplies go away, we'll know that we did it right. Okay, so we can't actually afford medical treatment, which means for this week's battle, I am thinking... Oh, uh, actually, yeah, it won't reveal everything. I've got... I got fame up the wazoo here, so... Alright, that's a 1v1. We definitely don't want a 1v1. This is me versus everybody. I don't think so. I would very much like a mini v mini. Something I could like stand back and not actually worry about getting killed. Uh, Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend all of the fame to unlock the biggin. And as it turns out, it's also going to be me versus a million people. Holy crap, what is this? 1v mini? It's me against four people, but it pays 10,000 gold? Seriously? I mean, this one here's a level 7, and it's a 1v1, and it pays 3,651. Oh, I really don't want to do a 1v1 at 50% health. I just don't. Okay, is there anything I can do at all to get my health back up? Please? Please, game, please? Uh, nope. Insufficient gold. Alright, well, crap. It would appear that we have no choice. We are going to have to fight a 1v1 and just hope like hell we don't get killed. Alright, Magnum buddy, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, hopefully we're up against somebody easy. Not another mace guy. Crap, we're up against a guy with a friggin' beaver cleaver, same as we've got. Uh, no, dude, go, leave me alone, I'm trying to adjust my camera, okay, stop it. Alright, there we go, we're good. How in the hell am I gonna deal with you? I know I need to block you. Oh, well, that didn't really work. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Wow. That was like diving headfirst into a meat grinder. Oh, Magnum, damn it. Uh, 
Okay, so, good news, bad news. The good news is, we've actually got a guy with a very obvious nickname. Say hello to Reho Antheros, a.k.a. The Butcher. Uh, yes, you are going to be The Butcher. I mean, that's pretty obvious, given that he's got a meat cleaver for his starting weapon. Now, the bad news is, I did not realize that the 4,000 gold I set aside for my next character was only good for the, like, the very first one that you end up with randomly. So, the fact that I re-rolled has now cost me 4,000 bucks. On the other hand, the only thing this guy needs to do to beat the game is to kill 80 dudes. And, I mean, quite frankly, if we survive long enough to kill 80 dudes, we deserve to retire. So, say hello to the butcher, let's go to work. Now, we do have 1,500 gold, and 100% health, which is quite nice. His stamina regen is really, really good. Okay, so did I get to keep any of my training stuff? I did not, but that's fine. We are going to train you in stamina, and that means I need four training gear, so we're going to purchase four training gear, and we're going to find out if this actually works. He's actually going to get a 6.6% .6 bonus. Nice. Okay, yeah, if we can get a uh, many v many battle, I think I might do the same trick I was going to do with Magnum PI and just hold back. That way we can find out if this actually is going to work or not, the training thing. So yeah, let's go take a look at the battles. Okay, we've got many v many. Sounds really good. How many v many is the question? Okay, we've got looks like one, two, three, four, five v five. We keep whatever weapon or shield we exit the arena with. And given that we don't own a shield, that seems like a pretty good deal to me. I mean, it's only 787 gold, but you know what? I don't care. Let's do it. Alright, we're in teal too. Crap, I meant to put myself in yellow. Alright, that's fine. Green team, guys, I hope you're ready to do all the heavy lifting because I am planning on setting this one out. Alright, let's get off to the side. No. Yeah, I want to... Oh, okay, my camera actually started off where I wanted it. Now, can we find a shield? Oh, you're on my team. Okay, I don't need to be afraid of you. Ah. Okay, I'm going to just sit back here for a bit. If somebody drops a shield, I'm going to run in and grab it. Other than that, we will wait and see how the tide of battle goes. Okay, you know what? This guy's got absolutely nothing on him. I can't resist. So, yeah, I'm just going to whack you with my cleaver. Now hold still. No, Santa Claus, get back here. Thank you. Alright, we just really scrambled these chiclets. This is very much a, oh, I was going to say, this is very much a close range weapon, so if we find somebody with a big weapon, we can actually sneak up on them. Oh shoot, I hit my own guy. Sorry dude, did not mean to do that. Okay, look, you can stop whacking me. I just want to get inside your range. I'm not sure why you threw your thing, but you're probably going to end up regretting it. I am coming in to whack you one. Ah, there goes the stamina. And now I've got his attention, which is not what I wanted. Yeah, just go away. Stay there. Pay no attention to the guy with the meat cleaver. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, that actually worked out really well. Uh, so much for sitting back. Okay, who's next? This dude. Boop. Oh, shoot. I hit my own guy again. No, I wanted to do the sneaking up on people. I like that. That was funny. Hi. Yeah, no, don't come after me. Don't come after me unless you want to give me your shield. How about if we come in low? Can we just take his knees out? We can. Can we back up? Because he's an idiot. He's not going to follow. No, dude, you're not going to follow. Wait a minute. All you've got's a jug. I don't care about your stupid jug. Yeah, come here with your stupid crockery. I'm going to thump you. Never mind. Let's just duck away and let the other guy come in. Okay, I really feel like these attacks should be, like, making contact. Yeah, I'm going for your legs. Ooh. And hey, I got a shield. Thank you. I will definitely take that. 
All right, we should be down to like one guy left, right? All right, we got two guys left in the black underwear. No, we have three. All right, and there's only two of us. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start cleaning out some of this nonsense. How about you go take care of the other guy and just leave this dude to me? I can sort him out, no problem. Yeah, see, kind of like that, only I just gotta do it again and again. Down for the legs, and you should be toast. Nope. All right, are we back to 2v2? I like that, thank you. Yeah, you. Come here with your stupid long stick that I can actually get inside of. Surprise it didn't take your head off. All right, well, we got the victory, and I didn't take too much damage, so I am going to, pun intended, chalk this one up as a win. Okay, hard-earned victory, reap some benefits. Try and enjoy it, yes. Did I level up? I did not. Got my health up to 80, though, which is nice. Okay, let's go check out the training thing and see what happened. I'll hold that thought. While we're here, let's do the uh, healing thing. Okay, training actually worked, apparently. All my training equipment's gone, so... Yeah, I'll buy another four. We'll do some more of that. That's cheap. I like cheap. Cheap is good. Okay, what kind of condition is our gear in? Helmet's fine. The cleaver actually made out pretty well. Our crappy shield is actually not in terrible shape. I mean, we don't have enough money to buy anything anyway, so there's no real point in doing any of that nonsense. Okay, well, I kind of like the cleaver. I really sort of wish I'd been able to do you in yellow, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay, mini V1 pays 1100 bucks. We got luck of the draw. We go in without weapons, and that's a mini V mini. I don't think so. I don't want to do a pip. You know what? I feel like just thumping the hell out of somebody, so we're going to go for the mini V1. Hopefully, we level up and we can give our next guy some money. Because I really like that investing in the future thing, especially since next time I'm not going to screw it up. Alright, so when it was many v many, it's basically me and two dudes and none of us have any weapons. And one of you guys looks like a slave. I love that guy's enthusiasm. Oh, crap. So the one guy's actually heavily armed. That's fine, we got a DACA. I kind of want the... Oh, crap, he picked it up. I was going to say, there was like a bronze sword there that I really kind of wanted. Alright, well, let's uh, just come in and make our presence known. We could try doing that again. Boo. <laughs> Apparently thumped him with the hilt. Yeah, you don't need to pay any attention to me, my friend. Yeah, here's a thought, guys. While I'm keeping him busy and he's looking... Oh! I was about to say, why don't you guys attack him from behind while he's chasing after me? But then that happened, and it kind of derailed my train of thought. Okay, so we made a stupid amount of gold. We didn't take any damage whatsoever. We ended up, like, healing all the way up to 100%. A creative spectator told the tale of your last fight. To say the tale was heavily embellished, to put it lightly. By the time it was retold four times, they were describing me as half-man, half-beast, mythological creature, demigod, and a reincarnation of the Emperor himself. Please don't use the Emperor himself reincarnation thing. If I remember my history correctly, that never, ever went well. Okay, what do we got? 100 famed all my next characters. Uh, okay, does my thing actually count as a mace? I'm going to take it on the off chance it does, because I think... Oh, no, it's a one-handed sword. Crap. Okay, well, let's go do our... Yeah, healing we don't need to worry about. Training. Yes, please. We're going to focus on that. Can I do... Okay, hold that thought. I can't remember what it was called. This thing is a one-handed sword. So, can we actually do training in a one-handed sword as well? I just need five training gear. You know what? I can afford five training gear. That seems like a pretty good, uh, pretty good investment, I'm thinking. Okay, apart from the shield that was already beat up when we got it, everything else actually looks pretty good. So, can we please have another lopsided battle? I'd love to do that again. Uh, yeah, I want to reveal this. Use subterfuge and influence. Okay, so I cannot actually see this duel. Or this battle, rather. I, I keep calling them duels. I know, they're battles. 
Alright, well apparently we're going to be doing a 2v2 against a civilian and a criminal. And we get to keep whatever weapon we exit the arena with, which means we're probably going in with absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm fine with that. I've got to be careful, too, to hang on to my meat cleaver, because I quite like it. Actually, the thought occurs, if I pick up a different weapon besides my meat cleaver, will I get to keep it as a backup weapon? Alright, you know what? In the words of the immortal Bugs Bunny... It's about time for me to employ a little strategy. So yeah, we're gonna go with the sneaking up behind people, especially this guy that's got a long thing. Um, what the hell just happened there? Yeah, no, back off, back off. I wanna thump you. I wanna thump you with my shield. Oh crap, okay, I forgot how much stamina that actually kills. Hey, 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 there was no need of that. What do you think you're doing throwing crap at me? I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna come back. No. I wanna cut across you, and then I wanna cut back, and now I need to run because I'm out of stamina again. Does the stamina training actually only last for like one week? Yeah, do whatever you wanna do. And then I'm gonna come in there and thump you. You ready? Thump. Nope, I missed him. Okay, note to self, Digby. You've got to stop doing that shield trick. That's not working. Yeah, block your sword. Block your sword. Okay, I'm going for your legs, because you're not paying any attention to me anyway. You kind of suck. I'm just gonna whack you across the face a few times. Yeah, there you go. Give you a Roman shave. Alright, now let's get our stamina back, and then we'll go in on the next guy. Hi, boop, boop, and boop. Okay, well, for the sake of dramatic narrative, the and boop part should have taken his head off. That's fine, we can get a reset. There we go, he did keep his head, though. Oh, here's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to grab the spike rusty shield. Or is this the one I actually started with? Okay, can I grab this stupid thing? No. I just want to try and see if I can bring back multiple weapons, please and thank you. Can I get that shield outside the gate? No, I cannot. Alright, well, if that is a thing we can do, I'm sure we will eventually figure it out. Okay, 700 gold. Yeah, I'm going to spend all of that on my training. My health is at 86, that's fine. First impressions. Oh my dear boy. Oh hee hee. How nice to meet you. I saw you fight. I was very entertained. Hee hee. You did very well. Yes. Good work. Quite strong. If I could do the Gollum voice, I would absolutely have done that speech in the Gollum voice. Okay. Valeria seems to stare into the void an unsettling amount of time with a glazed look before continuing. I'd like to help new fresh-faced aspirants. I'll give you information to my promoter. Contact her and we'll set something up at my expense. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't remember that we've already met him many times before. Yes, nice to meet you. Valerius, was it? Thank you very much. Okay, Valerius will pay his personal promoter to boost any campaign you launch, which will increase its reach. Oh, okay, so we can finally actually try this stuff. Yes, please. Um, oh, do we want max... You know what? I want maximum hit points. Yeah. <laughs> the next guy's gonna have to deal. So can I do... Alright, I'm thinking we might have to... Hold off on training this week, so that's going to take... Well, actually, I don't have enough money to do it anyway. Alright, how many victories have we had? I had to kill 80 aspirants. So far, I have killed... Uh, statistics. Yeah, where's my kills? Total kills, 5. Okay, so 5 down, 75 to go. Now, where the hell is this promotional thing? Okay, promote. Uh, promoter uses a budget to spread the word of your achievements expect that. The dude said he'd pay for it. So 350 to 500 more fame. Holy crap, that just took all of my money. I thought that other dude was supposed to pay for it. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. Well, that didn't bloody work, now did it? So yeah, we're not doing any training this week. Apparently the promotional thing didn't work. Alright, how's my gear? We are at 20 or 22 is fine. 124 of 156. It's gonna need some repairs soon. Boots fine. Chest piece is fine. Shields, crap anyway. I don't really care about that. And the boot is fine. 
All right, so if we can do one of those whatever you, like, find in the arena you get to keep deals, and I can find a better shield, that will be nice. All right, well, what do we got in this one here? It's a 1v1. It's a metric ton of gold. It's me against a spearman. I kind of like that idea. I mean, our weapon is close range and his is long range, so if we can get inside of him and just keep whacking away, we should have a pretty easy victory. This one over here is the keep whatever weapon or shield you exit the thing with. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go for the extra gold because I want to do more training and I definitely want to do more healing. So yeah, I'm going to go for the spearman and I'm going to hope that my strategy of like snuggling right up to him and staying inside his reach actually works. I mean, we will find out fairly quickly, I would think. Let's go to work. So, camera check. Is my camera correct? Camera's correct. Alright, dude. As suicidal as this sounds, I am going to come in on you here in a second. Let me just get you to attack. Alright, yeah. Get inside of him. Get inside of him. You need to stay right up in his grill, baby. Get up in his grill. Dude, get up in his grill. No, crap. Alright, running out of stamina? Bad. Alright, let me just back off. Let's get it back and then we'll come in on him again. I'm going right for the legs. No. I want to go for your legs, please. There we go. Yeah, come back across him on the side that doesn't have a shield. Like I said, stay right up in his face. There we go. Back him up against the thing. I know I'm almost out of stamina. Okay, we'll back up again. I do feel like that went fairly well. Yeah, hi. I know you're nimble and all that stuff. Boo. I'm gonna come across, hit you in the face. No, I need to get up at you. I need to be as close to you as I can get. Oh, shoot, run of stamina again. Yeah, I know, I can see your weapon. You got it sticking out, and you're gonna stab me with it. So, hi, I didn't realize you could climb that. Yeah, hold still, please. Oh, your legs are in the perfect spot. Oh, okay. Well, they went from being in the perfect spot to hit to not even being in the same zip code. Alright, well, it took a bit of a health hit for that, but we made a hell of a lot of gold. Oh, yes, please. I will approve of that. I'll get my health back up to 60. And in fact, what we're going to do before we quit this... Oh, no, we're not going to spend a dime on anything before we end this episode. Because if I do, it'll end up going away before the next one. So, yeah, let's uh, just have a quick look at the weaponry. Okay, that's a better shield. Holy crap, I picked up a different rusty shield, and it's in worse shape than the one I had. I mean, we could get another leg thing, but that's 48. Uh, you know what? We're just going to have to wait until the next episode before we decide exactly what it is we want to do about, like, a new shield and the healing and the training and stuff. Our weapon, on the other hand, I am very quickly falling in love with. I mean, it's definitely not as good as the beaver cleaver used to be, but as weapons go, turns out this one is not only really quick, it is exceptionally brutal. So yeah, I mean, it really sucks that we lost Magnum PI that early and that quick, but so far, the butcher does seem to be a fairly good replacement. And on that optimistic note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of We Who Are About to Die. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.